Hello and welcome to the 17th lecture running MD simulation from the scratch. So we have been uh, talking about the MD platform lamps and previously we have uh, given you a high level introduction on how to run MD simulation in lamps, what's in there. But now, and we have talked about uh, two ways of running the simulation. One is by making the system from the scratch and another one is making the system from a server. So in this lecture, we'll talk about the first uh, option that is running in the simulation from the scratch. And to facilitate this, we'll go through a very popular uh, basic level uh, introductory tutorial uh, uh, in LAMPS that is Evo City tutorial, uh, which calculates the cohesive energy and lattice parameter for aluminum. And uh, for that, let's go to Google and uh, search for Evocity lamps, lamps tutorials, go to the first one. And you can see that it shows uh, how to go through uh, from the beginning to the end of a simulation setup. And here it comes. We have told you that you need three things to run a simulation. One is uh, a structure file, one is potential parameter, and one is the uh, visualization. So for that, everything is uh, facilitated here. And uh, here is the uh, example input script to run this simulation. Let's say you want to know the lattice parameter and cohesive energy in aluminum. And for that, you want to make the system from the scratch. So there are several parts of an input script that you will uh, submit to the system. For example, uh, here is some comment lines that explains what is going on here. There are several sections that are uh, denoted by the uh, comment lines. For example, you are initializing the simulations and you are uh, telling the system how you want to uh, define the system in terms of dimensions. It has three dimensions. It has three periodic boundary conditions and what atom style and atom modify uh, for this. So, if these are not uh, relevant for you or uh, you find difficulty to understand these, always remember that there are tons of documentations that you can go through to actually understand this. For example, for all these keywords, units, dimensions, there is a specific separate documentation page of lamps. For example, let's say you don't know what units metal mean, means. So you just search for it lamps units you can get the first search and you will see that it's a lamps documentation page which uh, which actually explains the units command for example uh, how to write it the syntax what is the style of it and what is uh, what does the keyword means for example if you're using style metal then the units will be this uh, your mass will be grams per mole, your distance will be in angstroms. So throughout your system, you are telling your system which units to use. And also you can search for what dimension means, what boundary means, what uh, might be the other boundary conditions if you don't want to use PPP. And then you create the atoms. That means that you are creating the systems, the simulation box, the lattice, you are telling the, that is, it will be FCC. You are defining the region, you're creating the box. And then you define the interatomic potential. Uh, it has actually given you uh, some instructions on, on how to get the uh, potentials. For example, interatomic potentials, click here for aluminum, uh, click here, uh, and click on whichever potential you like. Some, uh, they have also given some download link for the potential files that you will uh, copy, uh, that you will download and paste it in your folder. Uh, along with your input script in a text file. And then uh, they will call these files. That is, they are calling these potential parameters to use in your system. So that according to that potential parameter, your system is actually made. Then you are defining some other settings, uh, compute ENG, compute E atoms. That is, uh, you want to uh, compute some energy and compute uh, how you how you want to compute the energy of the atoms, or it might be something else. You can uh, search for compute ENG or compute E atoms, and you will end up with uh, reading a documentation page of lamps. That's how you will learn in the fly. I'm not going through the technical details 
uh, because uh, you will have a very detailed uh, description of all the lines. Now you will run the minimization as we have told you that before running the system, we want to minimize the potential energy to, of the system. And it is uh, applying some fixes on the system. It is telling how frequently you want to uh, document the thermodynamic properties of the system and in which style and then it is running the minimization. Uh, I have told you that it is uh, setting up some energy parameter, um, uh, energy tolerance and iterations. And then it is defining some variables that, uh, that will come in handy to uh, make your calculations. That and the, at the end, it will print your calculated values like total energy, number of atoms, lattice constant and cohesive energy and at the end it will print all done. So if you have lamps installed in your system, uh, then uh, you can run this simulation through uh, this input script. And uh, there are several methods on how to run this simulation. It has uh, uh, described it in uh, step by step and also in so many platforms like Windows or Unix and what it does and it is actually going through step by step on how to interpret your results. So that's how we can make a system from the scratch and run uh, an ND simulation. Uh, uh, don't worry if it doesn't make sense because you are not from the same background. Uh, if it, uh, it's actually a very common simulation. If you are not from material science, if you're more interested in uh, uh, biomolecules, uh, it will still come in handy if you want to uh, use lamps for your simulations. So let's go back to our presentation that uh, we have been talking about the first method of running the simulation from the scratch. In this next lecture, we'll talk about how to run an end simulation from a server or a software. <laughs>